Hello, miners. Munchmo back with more Attack of the B Team. And today, I want to show you some things that I've done here. Um, first off, I added this nifty little vacuum hopper over here to my input chest so that I can just, you know, throw things on the ground. Let's see, do I have anything I want to get rid of? You know what? Let's get rid of those. Throw them on the ground, it sucks them up, puts them in here, and it gets put added to my system. That was actually done as part of the system that I've got set up now down here. Oh, hello there, thingy. You die. Do I have any bone meal? I do not have any. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. So I've also changed this system up to, uh, use an item cannon. <laughs> Check it out. Let's see if we can, we'll wait for it to work here. Do, 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 do. Come on. Chop that tree. Chop it. Chop it, I say. There's still more that I need to do for this. Um, I'm not sure exactly. Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? Up there, obviously. Come on, chop some trees down. I want to show the, the viewers what's going on here. Anyway, so I've got item cannons in certain positions here to send stuff back to that thing. I got one there. I got one over here. This one's not quite as uh, useful. Oh, yeah, I've got this. I can just do that. And just, boom! And it sends it flying over here. So um, this is just my return system. So I can... Oh, here we go. Look at that. See? It just shoots them up here. And the vacuum hopper sucks them up and puts them into the system. And I've got one over here at my uh, spawner center as well. Let's uh, get some stuff to spawn here and... Spawn, you crazy things! I said spawn! Oh, are my particles off? I think my particles are off. There we go. Because of rain. Okay, there we go. So now murder them, please. And then watch as it shoots things over into the... Uh... There you go. Boosh! See? <laughs> How cool is that? So yeah, I got that set up. And uh, as time goes on, I will add more and more of those things to oh is this thing still going this thing's going there's nothing in it stop that come back here you die okay so i got that set up um i'm not sure if i showed you this thing completed or not but this is now my system here i've got um got this set up so i push the button here i think i think i showed you guys this to output here um there's the lava coming in i've got the ability to call stuff in here put stuff in here to return it if i don't need it my mouse is doing something funky. Hold on a second. I gotta, uh, it's not a mouse. It's a trackball. And that's why it's doing something funky. Anyway. A um, couple of things I want to get done, actually, is... Oh, yeah. Check this out. So, I decided... Uh, I decided that I want a giant fish tank in my home. I think it's going to be pretty cool. So, we'll work on that soon. I've got the fish tank itself, the basic design, put together here. You can see. Um, however, I don't have any fish or water in it yet because we'll have to do that in another episode. But I've decided that I don't like this anymore. Um, I, I'm not a fan of the um, the basalt paver. I, I don't know. It just isn't quite working right. It ain't looking right for me. So I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this whole thing with carpenter's blocks, which will actually make it a lot easier for me to... Um, to, to do what I'm trying to do here. So I am going to work on this, and then I'm going to spend some time talking to you guys about what's going on here with me. Because, oh my god, the dumbest thing ever happened not long ago. Uh, today is Friday, the 9th of May. Even though this probably won't be going up until Monday, I think. Um, but anyway... So, uh, let's see, where to start? Monday after work, I came home at my usual time with a nice big pepperoni pizza pie. Every Monday, me and my boy, we do pizza from uh, Hungry Howie's. They have this special where if you pick, call it an order sometime after, I think it's 5 o'clock, um, and pick it up, you get a... Uh, the money you pay is the time you called the order in. So, like, you call it 5 o'clock, you get a large one-topping pizza for 5 bucks, Which is pretty cool, in my opinion. I don't, I don't know anybody else who wouldn't think that's cool. So, you know, I did that, my usual thing. Because um, every Monday we have pizza. Because, you know, it's the thing we do. We watch some TV, we eat some pizza. And I come home, and he isn't here. He left me a note on the... Uh, on the, uh, the, the, in the kitchen. He'd run away from home. Yes. My 15-year-old son 
ran away from home. So, what do I do? The first thing I do, you want to know what I did? I drove around for a couple of hours looking for him. I really didn't have any idea exactly where he'd go. Um, I know that he has a couple of friends, or a, a friend? I don't know if he has more than one, really, in school, but that kid mother is a teacher, so it's not like he'd be staying over at his house overnight to run away. And the note obviously didn't say anything specific about where he was going or what was going on or anything, and we hadn't had any sort of falling out or fight or anything, so I, I was fairly certain he would come home, but you know, you, you can't, your kid can't just run away from home and you do nothing about it. It's just not legal and it's not something you do so i drove around for a couple of hours where i thought he might have headed if he were heading anywhere local or where he might be if he were still in the area and i didn't find him so then i spent time calling around you know to see if anybody might know where he was or anything like that and uh you know i called family to say, hey have you heard from the boy and they're like, no, and I'm like, well, he ran away from home, and they're like, oh my god, and everybody was so worried about him, and I wasn't worried, because, well, I, I, I just knew that he'd be back, and so once I didn't hear from anybody, or once nobody knew where he was, I called the police, because, you know, running away from home, it's against the law, um, until you're 18, you are your parents' responsibility, and it is against the law, to run away without their knowledge. So I had to report it because if you you're a parent and your child run away, runs away from home and you don't report it, you're in trouble. <laughs> so, you know, it's it's there's there's a lot to it, you know? And so I reported it, but I wasn't really worried because I knew he'd be back. So the next day rolls around, I called out from work in the hopes that he would come home. You know, I was, I was, I guess I was a little bit worried, you know, because I actually thought he'd be home pretty quick. Um, I figured he'd be coming back the next day after having spent a night out in about somewhere all by himself. And he, uh, he didn't come back the next day. However, right about the time when I was getting ready, when I would normally have left, um, I would normally have left work, I get a call from an unknown number. And it was him and the first... Uh, it, actually, no, it wasn't him. It was a woman. It was some old woman calling, uh, asking if I had a son and stuff. And it turns out he went to random people's houses looking to use a phone to call home. And the first thing he says to me when she puts him on the line was, Dad, I'm so sorry. And all I could do was laugh. I just laughed. I couldn't... I, that, that's it. Mind you, not much, not not too much earlier before this call, I was on the line with his mother who had found a way into his email and stuff via his grandfather's computer that he uses when he's over there. Um, with where he had been talking to a girl in another state who he, well, it turns out, was headed to go see. To run away from home because he had nothing. His note said, there's nothing here for me anymore. Um, which is obviously bullshit. But, you know, he's a teenage boy. Teenagers, horniness, emotions, they do crazy things. So... Yeah, he called me up. He he was in Cherokee County, which, I mean, obviously, I'm pretty sure you guys don't necessarily know Georgia. So I will tell you, it was an hour-plus drive to get there to pick him up, uh, partially because of traffic, because Georgia traffic is stupid. But, um, so, yeah, so that was a thing. And then... It was an ow, 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 what's going on? Whoa, whoa, why, that's not where I wanted you to go. No, I wanted you to go there, okay. And then, it was another hour plus drive to get back home, obviously, where we talked about what was going on, his plan, and all that sort of stuff. And so, 
what I learned from him was he was heading up to Michigan. Yes, he was heading to Michigan. He was planning on walking the entire way to Michigan. He had printed out some Google walking directions from Google Maps. All right. To walk to Michigan. And um, it was like 22 pages of walking directions. According to Google Maps, mind you, it said it would take 10 days of walking. Which meant 10 days of walking straight. Like 10 days of walking for 24 hours a day. Which I don't think he actually paid attention to. Because I have since looked at the chats and stuff that he has done. Um, and whatnot with the people that he was talking to when planning this trip. And so he's... He did not think any of this through. It's the dumbest thing ever. His new nickname, by the way, is Dumbass. Because he was literally planning on walking from Georgia to Michigan. Which, according to Google Maps, again, 10 days walking if he walked straight through the day 24 hours a day. Oh, I'm out of carpenter's blocks. Let's go make more. Okay, so far you with me here? Now, first off, you're probably already thinking this is the dumbest thing ever, right? I know that's what I'm thinking. But finding out more about his plans is even worse, okay? So let's grab some more planks and we will continue this discussion. Oh, I have a stick. Boop. Okay. Oh, submit, submit. 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 Okay. So, you ready for this? This gets even better. So, he... I need eight stacks. That should do. Okay. So, he... Come on. He, uh, he packs some stuff in preparation for walking first off thinking it was going to just be a 10 day trip of walking okay you with me so far 10 days of walking he packed stuff based on that he printed out directions at school 22 page directions at school and didn't bother to look at them after he printed them all right that's that this is the first thing he did not bother to look at the directions that he printed at school I looked at the directions after I picked him up and everything, and we had gotten home, and he had only the first, um, what was it, the first, the, the, or he, he had, like, I guess gotten rid of some pages or something because he felt he was done with them, I guess. I don't know. So, anyway, we've got um, this. Now, I looked at the directions he had printed out, and after about page 8 or 10 the printer started running out of ink. Okay? So, after maybe like 12 to 15 pages, they were completely illegible. Absolutely 100% unreadable. He never bothered to look. So, even at, if he had kept going, at some point, he would have just been screwed. I mean, obviously, you know, if you really were going to do something like this, you, there might be a way to work around that or whatever, but he wasn't planning on hitchhiking. He was purely planning on walking the entire way, okay? So this means that were anything... Can I... Is there a way in here? No, I gotta go around. Anything were to go not quite according to plan, like, couldn't find a road. I don't know. I don't know exactly what. But if anything were to not quite go according to plan, he would have been stuck, you know? But, as I said, it gets worse, better? I don't even know. Which would you use to describe it? Whether it's worse or better? You you tell me, okay? Alright, you ready for this? Um, 
he packed some stuff to prepare for his trip. He packed a change of clothes. One single change of clothes to walk for 10 straight days. Okay. He didn't pack an umbrella that I'm aware of. All right. You with me so far? He, uh, he packed some food. You want to know what he packed? He packed four cans of soup. Four cans of soup. Yeah. Four whole cans of soup. By the time I picked him up, because he called me up and he was all, I'm so sorry, Dad. By the time I picked him up, he had eaten two of the cans of soup. Yep, he had already eaten two. How about that? He brought some money with him, though. He did bring some money with him, so uh, he thought about that. He, uh, he had $7. Yes. He was planning on walking across the country, and he brought one change of clothes, four cans of soup, and $7. Huh? Huh? How about that? All right. He did, he did pack a bottle of water, though. He packed one bottle of water. Uh, mind you, now, he was smart enough to refill this bottle of water over and over again at water fountains along the way, but obviously you are uh, walking across the country using Google walking directions. You might end up at a point where you aren't anywhere near a friggin' water fountain. But, uh... That's a whole nother story. So yeah, so we've got that. Um, now, of course, as I said, by the time I picked him up, he had already um, eaten two cans of soup, and he was down to nothing but pocket change when it came to the money he brought with him. Okay. Now, I, th I don't know, have I said it yet exactly, exactly why he was... Uh, going it, it it really all boils down to the fact that he wanted to get laid that's all there is to it. he wanted to get laid he uh there was a girl up there who he had been sexting with i, I don't i don't think you'd really necessarily call it sexting since it was done via email and Facebook messages, but I, I, I don't know, it might still be considered sexting. I don't know. You tell me what you think, whether it's sexting or not, but yeah. So there was a girl up there who oops, who he had been having sexy emails with, and he wanted to get laid. So, obviously, had he been dumber than he was and decided to keep going things might have ended up very very badly for him like to the point where you know he could have died or worse and yes in situations like this there are things that could be considered worse than death so uh good thing he decided finally to call it quits now I didn't tell you exactly how far I got. I, I told you where I picked him up. It was Cherokee County, which is an hour drive from home. Yeah, an hour drive, mind you, taking back roads. One hour drive in rush hour. My, uh, that, that's another thing to keep in mind, too, when I say one hour drive. It was in rush hour, so there is, uh, you know, the fact that it would have taken less time to get there had there been zero traffic. All right. So, what do I want to do here? Do I have a workbench down here? I do not. I probably need to get a workbench out. Ah, perfect. Bloop. Workbench. Okay. So, yeah. One hour drive. Let's grab another... Ooh, I forgot that door. One hour drive to get there. Uh, you know what we're going to do here? We're going to take these two... Put Carpenter's Block there. He had made it a whole 37 miles 
from home. 37 miles. Now, the directions he had printed out said the trip was about 700 miles. So at the rate he was going, he actually wasn't doing too bad. Um, he was about one out of 20 days worth of walking. Um, I mean, obviously, that that's bad. He, excuse me, sir, why are you walking that way? He, he didn't care about me. He was just, he was, he was out for a stroll, man. So, yeah. Good times, good times. Um, so I, I, uh, went and picked him up. You know, we talked on the way home, the nice hour-long trip. And, uh, you know, he's not in any trouble. He's just a dumbass. Uh, I, he, this kid doesn't think. He's a teenager. And there might be some teenagers out there watching this, and I'm sorry if I offend you by saying this, but, um, teenagers don't think so much, you know? It's just, it's, it's hard to, you know, think about the future, the consequences. Let's see, I want to use that. Now, can I turn these into slabs of the same sort? No. Can I cut these? I don't think that's even going to work. I'm going to need more of these things. I decided I like the look of um, spruce. These long spruce planks. As if it were like siding on a house. You know? So we're going to start with this and see how it looks on the outside. And we'll get three stacks of that. One. Two. And... A three. And let's dump some of this junk off that I don't need. Like that, that, that. I don't need all this dirt. I don't need that. Okay, good. Okay, here we go. Spruce. Oops. God, my mouse is still doing that thing. Where I click and it double clicks for me. Why is it making... It makes weird noises. It's probably not going to be enough, but that'll do for now. So, yeah. He's horny. He doesn't have a lot of friends here and where we live, so he, I guess, decided he, um, he belongs in Michigan because that's where his friends are. Now, mind you, these are all kids who can't stand him because, oops, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Because he's pissed them off so much by being needy and... An annoying teenager to them and stuff because he, he's got some social issues of his own because of uh, his life when he was younger living with his mother. But so, yeah, most of the kids up there, no, I don't know. He, he's, anyway, needless to say, at this point, he is not in trouble. However, he is going to start going to a therapist to talk about these things since obviously... He didn't feel he could talk to me. Hey, give me back some of the planks. Thank you. I'll just do... Oops. What are you doing here? Come here. Oh, that's right. It treats them like they're friggin... I don't understand that. That's kind of weird if you ask me. It treats them like they're uh, stone and not wood, even though they're wood. <sighs> I did, didn't I? Okay, that's fine. This carpenter blocking will also allow me to change the interior of the walls without really causing any major issues, which is what I'm looking for, mostly. All right, let's have a look-see. That looks a bit better, although I don't know. We'll see how the whole thing works out, too, and I can change certain portions of one side or another here, too. Let's, uh, let's do this side since it's smaller. So, yeah. He's home. He realizes that it was a dumb mistake and stuff. Now, okay, the the next thing, too, is after he came home, I forced him to call all of the family that I had called looking for him to apologize for running away from home. Hopefully that impressed upon him the fact that there are things here for him and there are people here that care about him. Um, but, of course, I had to call the police to tell them, hey, he's returned home, you know, you can, uh, 
mark him as you know not being a runaway anymore and take his statement because you know the police have to be like okay you say he's home we have to see that he's actually home and all that so they came by and they asked him all the same questions i asked him why did you do it yada 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 and the entire time they were asking these questions and his answers which i already knew all i could do was laugh i mean i sat there on the couch while he was telling the police about this and i laughed because it's the it, it, I mean, it sounds horrible for me to say, but it is the dumbest thing ever. Running away from home to get laid by a girl that you don't know by walking to another state and literally risking your life by not even thinking ahead enough for more than one day's travel. Uh, he decided, mind you, I didn't tell you this either, he decided in the end the whole reason that he gave up was because his feet hurt because he couldn't walk anymore because he had been walking for so long. Which is, I guess, good that he at least turned around when he did and didn't get across state borders or even farther because God knows I would have hated to have to drive even farther to go pick him up. But, um... But, yeah. So, I, uh... I laughed. And the police laughed. And they're like, hey, at least your dad's cool about this. Usually when we get runaways who have returned home... You know, they're angry to be stuck back at home, or the parents are angry at uh, the kids or whatever. So, you know, I mean, I can understand that, you know, parents who were really super upset about their children running away from home or children who are running away from home because their parents suck or something like that. No, the reason he ran away from home had nothing to do with me whatsoever. Oops. Hey, I don't want that. <laughs> That's the only problem with the cannon. Sometimes I accidentally pick things up when I run running by. <sighs> but yeah, the dumbest, dumbest, dumbest idea ever. I don't think I'm going to let him live it down for a while. Um, but needless to say, he is no longer going to be in communication with those kids up in Michigan, he they, they are kids. He met them all via playing games online through other kids and friends and stuff. So, things about his life are definitely going to change. School's going to be out in like a couple weeks and he's going to be forced to get a job because he'll be old enough to get a job, which will hopefully help him actually meet more people locally to... Uh, be friends with but biggest thing is get him to a therapist so he can understand that his behavior is not right appropriate smart whatever so hopefully stupid things like this won't happen again but that is all the story time i got for you today if you have any questions about this or any comments i look forward to hearing from you i must say i i am relieved that he's home but uh, at the same time, it's the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> it really, really is. <sighs> Do you have any stories about running away from home or anything like that? I did it when I was like three years old. But oh my god. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any ideas for the uh, house or uh, color schemes or anything, to change it up, let me know. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.